after a heavy rainstorm, the young beaver, her father, and her brother set off downstream to check on their largest dam. A muskrat swims along the opposite shore, its skinny rat-like tail flicking out of the water. The beavers are used to these neighbors. No need to stop or slap a tail. Quack, quack, quack. The woods are alive with the sounds of hundreds of frogs. A nearby vernal pool is full of frog eggs ready to hatch into tadpoles. Quack! Finally, they reach the dam. The beavers listen, smell, and feel to figure out if it needs repair. The young beaver hears water gushing over the top of the dam. She knows it is the sound of a leak. Clug, gurgle. She swims down to the mud at the pond bottom. She scoops up mud with her front feet and carries it back to the dam. Gush! Carefully she packs the mud into the spaces between branches at the top of the dam. Her brother works beside her. Together they make the structure stronger and taller. Life in a vernal pool. On the first warm rainy night in late March or early April, amphibians are on the move. They travel from the winter homes in the forest to lay eggs in nearly temporary ponds called vernal pools. Spotted salamander. Jefferson salamander. Wood frog, spring peeper. <laughs>